Hi, and welcome to Ibex Running. My name is Veronica, and I'll be your coach today. Today's workout is going to be a hill interval climb. So we're going to be going for 23 minutes, moving through different intervals, and speeding up our pace, and also bringing up that incline. So we're going to be working two different things here. Let's get started with our warm-up, right? So I want you at a 2.5 speed to a 4.5 speed, anywhere there in the middle. Ready? Let's go. Good. And this is just a warm-up, right? So we want to be nice and easy. Start thinking about your breathing. Start preparing yourself for this workout, right? Thinking about your running form. What do you want to accomplish in this workout? All right, we got five different sets that we're going to do today. And in each set, you're going to have two hill climbs and one recovery pace. In 10 seconds, we're going to pick up this speed a little bit between 4.5 and 6.5, just to get that running going a little bit. Here we go. In three, two, one. Let's go. Awesome. Right now, I have my incline on a 0.5. I find that it makes my running form feel a little bit more natural, like when I'm running outside. But if you like it on zero, that's totally fine as well. Good. We're going to be here for 60 seconds. So start thinking about your form, right? Engaging that core, swinging your arms from the shoulders, dropping those shoulders down. Let's be nice and relaxed. Light on your feet, right? We don't want to stomp the ground. Nice and smooth here. Good. You got about 30 more seconds. Think about that breathing, right? Breathing in through our nose, exhaling slowly out the mouth. We got a really awesome workout for you guys today. I'm excited to do it with you. Good. To finish off our warm up, we're going to pick it up a little bit more between a 5.0 and a 7.0 for 30 seconds. All right, we're going in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Pick it up just a little bit more before we get back into our main portion of our workout. Good. As you start to pick up that pace, notice that cadence change, right? Here we go. You got 10 seconds, and then we're gonna go back into that recovery pace, so that jog pace, which is that speed of 4.5 to 6.5. In four, three, two, one, here we go. You're here for two minutes. Now, if you ever miss what that pace was, you can always look over here to my right and you'll see it up on the screen. Good. Two minutes here, right? So let's get comfortable with this. How does this feel for you, right? Let's be relaxed, nice and tall and upright. Light on those feet, like I said, we don't wanna stomp. You're gonna take these recovery paces here as recovery, right? So we wanna be as relaxed as we can. In this workout, right, we have five different sets we are doing. And with each interval, I'm gonna give you ranges to do. Right, so I want you to get through this whole workout feeling really good by the end. So, I always recommend to make your workout progressive. So maybe start on that lower end, and by the end, you're at that higher end. Or if you're more of an intermediate runner, maybe you start in the middle and move to the higher end. Or if you're feeling really great today, maybe you just hit that high end the whole way through. All right, but remember, cater it to your fitness to your goals. Excellent, we got less than a minute left here before we go into our first hill climb. All right, you're gonna be in each of your hill climbs, you got two of them in each set. Each of them you're gonna be there for 60 seconds. And we're gonna play with that incline and we're also going to play with that speed a little bit. All right, so for that first one, we're gonna start that in 30 seconds and you're gonna be at a 2.0 incline and your speed is gonna be between a 5.0 and a 7. All right, so start getting yourself ready for that. Start getting excited about it and what you're going to achieve today. And breathe. You're doing awesome. 15 seconds here. Good. Your last 10. Remember, incline goes up to two. Speed between that five and seven. Here we go in four, three, two, one. Here we go, let's pick it up. Good. One of the things you want to start to notice with an incline, right, is that your heels kind of lift off the ground a little bit. Allow that to happen, it's good, right? You might start hitting more at the middle of your foot, maybe a little bit higher to the ball of your foot. That's okay. Drive those knees and pump those arms, let them help you. Whatever my upper body does, my lower body's gonna do. All right? Good, you guys are doing great. First hill climb here, you got 30 more seconds. And breathing, right? 
Think about those arms. Want to make sure those arms are going forward and back. All right, we don't want them to cross through that midline. Make sure they're going forward and back. So okay if they come forward and come in front a little bit, but not crossing over that midline. In 15 seconds, you're going to keep your speed where you're at unless you want to pick it up a little bit, but you are going to move that incline up to four. All right, are you ready for that? You're going to notice your heels lift a little bit more. Here we go. In three, two, one. Bring that heel climb up. Here we go. Excellent. You're here for just 60 seconds. All right. Now, think about, again, just like in our warm-up, when I said be light on your feet. I want that again. We don't want to stomp into the ground or stomp into our treadmill. Good. Breathe. You're going to notice as that climb goes up, right? you got to work a little bit harder to drive those knees up. You might feel it a little bit more in your hip flexors. That's good. Engage the core. Engage the hip flexors. 30 seconds. And then we're going to go back to that recovery run for two minutes. Here we go. Stay focused here all the way to the end. You got 15 more seconds. And then you'll bring that speed down between 4.5 and 6.5 and bring that incline down to a 0.5 or what feels comfortable for you. Three, two, one. Here we go, bring it on down. Good. Nice and smooth here. This is your recovery, right? When we're doing interval training with running, we're trying to build that endurance, right? We're trying to build some of that power and speed. So even though we're recovering, we're still moving. So it's active recovery. We want to do that to keep the heart rate up and keep building that stamina. Seems kind of silly, right? But I promise you it helps. Nice and smooth here. Good. So first interval is down, right? That whole set's done. We're going to go into set two. Think about how great that set went. What can you do differently this set to keep pushing yourself a little bit more, right? Maybe bring up that speed. That's why we give you that range. There we go. And think about that breathing, right? During this recovery piece, that's where we want to control that breathing a bit. So into your nose, exhale slowly out the mouth. You got one more minute, and then we're going to go into that second set of our hill climb. There we go. Something I like to always talk about is your cadence as well, which is that rhythm of your feet, that cycle of your feet. Everyone has their own personal one, which is kind of cool when you think about it, right? Find yours. Make sure you're hitting the ground evenly with both feet. Finding your rhythm, finding your smooth cycle, your form. Good. That's what I'm talking about. Give me 30 more seconds here. And then we're going to go back into that hill climb, bringing it up. Good, we got 15 more. Start preparing yourself. You're going to bring that incline up to two, and you're going to bring that speed between five and seven. What did you do last round? Can you move it just even point one higher to make that difference? Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Pick it up. Good. Again, you're going to feel, right, your heels lift a little bit. Allow that to happen. That's going to allow you to come quicker off the ground. Less ground contact time. Right? Lift those knees a bit. And start pumping those arms a bit more. Those elbows are going to come back a little bit harder. Those hands are going to come up a little bit higher. Excellent. You got 30 more seconds here with this one. And then you're going to challenge yourself with that next hill climb going a little bit steeper. So we're going to hit that 4.0 incline. The speed can stay the same, or if you feel good, you can pick it up a little bit. Think about that cycle, your form, lifting those heels off the ground, cycling it through. Good. We're going to go to that steep incline in four, three, two, one. Hit that four incline. Stay at this pace, or you can pick it up a little bit. Second set here. Remember, don't forget, you can always look over here on my right to check and make sure that you're hitting the right interval right now. Good. Find your cycle. Drive those knees a little bit. Pick those feet up, right? Don't shuffle those feet through the ground. Pick them up. Be strong here. 
You got 30 more seconds, and then we're dropping right back down to that recovery pace. All right, so push through for these last few seconds with me. Good. You guys are doing so awesome. Come on. Here we go. Your last 10 seconds of this one, and then we bring it back down. Fight all the way to the end. Not a second sooner. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. There we go. Incline comes down. Bring that speed down between a 4.5 and a 6.5. There we go. Again, you're here for two minutes. This is meant to be recovery. All right, so let's be smooth, relaxed. I know we just worked through that hill climb, so that heart rate is up a bit, right? So control that breathing. Bring it down to a more comfortable seat. We want this active recovery here. Good. Smooth. Second one done. In this third one now, I really want you to think about your foot placement and where you're hitting the ground and the fact that you are pushing your foot down into the ground or into your treadmill, right? I know the treadmill runs for you and you can just pick up those feet, but let's think about if we're running outside, we want to propel our body forward by pushing through the ground, showing me that power you have in your legs. Good. You got one more minute here and then we're gonna go into that first hill climb. What'd you do last time? You're gonna hear me say that every time because I want you to progressively challenge yourself. Progressively push yourself a little bit faster. Good. Control that breathing in through your nose, slowly out through your mouth. You know, sometimes when we're breathing heavy, we tend to just go in and out of our mouth. Control it. You control your body. You got 30 more seconds. Good. Sometimes you are like, how do you just run forever, right? Because you gotta love that feeling, right? I love the feeling of running. It's something that I can control and it's something that you can control at home. So I want you to think about that going into this next interval. You have control over your speed, your movement. Here we go. That first hill climb, 2.0, or that incline, five to seven speed. Three, two, one, let's go. Pick it on up. There we go. You notice as soon as that speed comes up, right, your arms start to move a little bit more aggressively. That's good. You're gonna notice your stride starts to open up a little bit because you're applying that force into the ground, right? So your cycle's changing a little bit with your speed. Keep that. Control that, right? This is something that you get to control. That feeling. I want you to love that feeling of challenging yourself. That feeling of that burning in your chest, right? Because you're pushing yourself. You're making your body stronger. 20 seconds here. And then you're going into that steep climb. Oh, yeah. Getting that 4.0 incline. You got this. 10 seconds here. Breathing. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Hit that incline. 4.0. Feel free to keep that speed where it's at. Or if you're feeling great, bring it up just a little bit. Good. 60 seconds here. Remember, after those 60 seconds, go right back to that recovery. So I don't want you to hold anything back. I want you to fight through this. Fight through that burn in the legs. Fight through the burn in the arms. Keep it relaxed. 30 seconds here. This is the challenge to fight all the way to the end of that interval. Good. I'm right here with you. Right, let's fight it together. Last 15, come on. Think about that form pushing into the ground. Be strong with me. Going back to that recovery in five. Come on, four, three, two, one. Bring it on down. Good, bring it down. Awesome. There we go. Remember, two minutes we're here. So take this as an opportunity to catch your breath and prepare for that fourth interval because you guys are doing so great. Good. And breathe, right? Relax those shoulders. Remember, whatever my upper body does, 
my lower body up. So if I'm tight and tense up top, I'm gonna be tight and tense on the bottom. We're just gonna restrict that cycle. Stay relaxed. I know as you progress through a workout, that fatigue starts to set in. Fight that fatigue with me. Good. You start to feel that heart rate come down a little bit already, right? That's what I want. Sometimes when we run, we need to like remember our why. Why are we even doing this? Why am I pushing my body? Are you training for something? Are you trying to just do something new? Change up your routine. That's what, those are all awesome reasons, right? Whatever your reason is, you gotta stick hold, hold to that, stick hard to that, because that's what's gonna motivate you to keep fighting through. Good. You're going into that fourth set. Like I tell you every time, what are you gonna do different this one? How can you challenge yourself a little bit more this one? I know what's in you. I know you can. Remember that range for those hills are always five to seven for that speed. Where are you in that range? Good. You got 15 more seconds. And then that incline's going to two. Prepare for it right here. We got five, four, three, two, one. Bring that incline up. Bring that speed up. There we go. Let's lift that heart rate up. Come on. Bring that body up nice and tall. Try not to hunch. Right? Shoulders back. Open up that chest. When we close up that chest, it makes it harder for us to breathe. We want to be able to breathe. Think about those shoulders. Drop them. Drive the elbows back. Come up a little bit higher on your feet. So you get quicker off the ground. And you can push harder into the ground. Think about your strength. Here we go. You're getting to the end of this interval, going into that next one. Let's start mentally preparing for it. Because I know you're going to crush it. Come on, this is number four. Let's go, guys. You're going to bring that incline up to four. Feel free to leave that speed. Three, two, one. Let's go bring that incline up. Come on, I'm ready to run with you guys. You have done so great to this point. And I want you to get even better for that finish. So in this hill climb, set number four, I know you feel that burning already. And you're like, Veronica, what are you doing to me? I'm trying to push you and help you get stronger. So remember that this is making you better. Come on, 30 seconds. Here we go. Fall in love with that feeling of knowing that you can control how hard you work. This is something right now that we can control. Think about that. Good. You got 10 seconds. And then we're getting right back down into that recovery run. Come on. Your last five. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Bring that incline down. Bring that speed down. Guess what, guys? You got one more. How quick do these runs keep going? Right? When you focus on that why, when you focus on how much you love this feeling, when you focus on each interval at a time, it goes by so quick. One more. All right, this last one, I want you to feel it the most. All right, so I want you to really push yourself. Find that speed. Don't slow down. Hit that cadence. Think about your form, core engage, everything. Bring it all together for this final hill sprint. We're gonna climb it together. Always. I'm not leaving you. Good. Remember, this is that recovery, that active recovery. Control that breathing so that you can ready to crush our finish. Here we go. Less than a minute here. Love it. I want you to feel proud. Feel proud about what you've accomplished. Feel proud about all the work that you put in, all the changes that you've made. Right? This is a beginner intermediate workout. So this could be your first thing that you're doing, right? And you're crushing it. You've made it. 
So be proud of that. All right, one more to go. You're gonna give me that steep to that first regular hill, then the steep. All right, so going to that 2.0 incline, and then you have that five to seven speed. This is that last one. What are you gonna do with it? 10 seconds here. Let's go, guys. I'm ready. You ready? Of course you're ready. Three, two, one. Bring that incline up. Let's bring that speed up. Come on now. It's go time. It's the last one. 60 seconds here. This is your hill climb right now. What's at the top of that hill? What are you running to? I want you to envision it. I want you to get after it. Good. That form. It's perfect, right? We're not falling apart because we're stronger than that. Don't let that fatigue let your form break down. Instead, fight through that fatigue and show me you can be stronger and maintain form. Nice, relaxed arms. Pushing through our feet into the treadmill. Good. You got that steep hill coming up. And that's your last part of this workout. 10 seconds. You're going to that 4.0 incline. Here we go, are we ready? Yes, you got five, four, three, two, one. Bring it on up to four. Come on, maybe bring that speed up a little bit for me. Bring it on up, come on. This is your last one. Let's go a little bit faster. 60 seconds and you're done. We go into that recovery. Come on. I want you to fight that why. What's at the top of that hill? Up on the balls with the speed a little bit. Push through the ground. Core tight. Relax upper body. Put it all together right here. 30 more seconds. Yes. Come on. All together here. Right? We're doing this together. We're going to get to the top together. Good. You have 15 more seconds. Push all the way to the end. Don't stop. Keep fighting. You're right there. Good, give me five, come on. Four, three, two, one. Bring it on down, back to that recovery. Right here, good, that recovery pace. Just stay, stay here for 30 seconds. Good, slow it down, slow that breathing down. You did it, you made it all the way to the end. I'm so proud of you guys. And I want you to be proud of yourself. Good. You're gonna bring that speed down to that walking pace between 2.5 and 4.5. Three, two, one, bring it on down. 30 seconds here. Guys, phenomenal, phenomenal job. I know those hill climbs were a challenge. I know they really pushed you. They changed up our form a little bit. They really worked on that power, but you made it through. So be proud of yourself. I'm proud of you and what you accomplished in this 23 minute run, hill intervals. Awesome, awesome job. Keep it up, keep running, and I'll see you guys next time on IBEX Running.